everyone. Um, I hope we've got some people joining for this visual arts and craft session. Um, my name is Jenny and I'm programme manager for visual arts and craft at uh, RAC. Um, so I'll be talking about what kind of courses we offer and what kind of special specialisms we offer um, and what you might be interested in joining um, from summer school or September. And I'll be talking about how we're kind of adapting to the current situation uh, to make sure that we're being safe and complying with social distancing and um, give you some ideas about how you can enrol. So I'm just going to move it and just to let you know, um, my colleague Jackie is also on the call. Um, she is going to field any questions from you. So if you have any questions as we go through, you can type them in the chat function of this presentation. So ask any questions there. She can hopefully answer them as we go through. And then at the end, there'll be an opportunity as well where I can answer any questions that have come through. So feel free to do that. So apologies if this is a little bit slow, but I'm just going to go through this presentation now. So, as I've said, I'm Jenny Irwin. Um, I also teach on some drawing courses as well. Courses in my area cover painting and drawing, fashion textiles, floristry and horticulture, woodwork, picture framing and upholstery, oil painting restoration, fused and stained glass, ceramics, hand building, throwing and sculpture, and a few other little random ones in, in there that don't quite fit under any of those headings, but it's quite a broad remit. Um, and we do offer an awful lot of courses here at Richmond Art School. Um, the art school also offers graphic design, both qualifications and community learning, interior design, again, they have quals as, as well as community learning, photography, which also has qualifications available, printmaking, bookbinding, calligraphy um, and those are managed by my colleague Nikki Gregory and her presentation will be next week on 26th of June at two o'clock so if you want to join that as well she can tell you more about those courses specifically. So we have some amazing art and tra traditional craft facilities and um, our studios are a, a real gem in Richmond and I think one thing that most people when they come into the building if they've never been there before always say is you know, wow, I didn't know this was here. I've lived here my whole life, didn't know this was around the corner. It's a bit of a um, still, unfortunately, a hidden gem. So um, we hope that if you come, that you'll be impressed with the amazing studios and facilities on offer. It really feels like a proper art school. So it's a really fun place to learn. We've got courses from beginner level to advanced in most areas. So if you want to try something new for the first time, you can try it. And then if you end up falling in love with it, there's lots of opportunities for you to keep on going and progress and improve. Uh, we've got courses in the daytime, evening and weekends so we can fit around your schedule because we know obviously adults um, coming to us coming from, you know, lots of people are working, some people are retired, some people have kids. Um, so we've got things that can fit around your life. We've got courses aimed at improving general well-being, reducing stress and anxiety. So quite a lot of people come to us if they've maybe taken a little break from work or they might be going through um, some kind of mental health issues or possibly suffering from depression or anxiety. Um, lots of art and craft courses are really beneficial to help with this. Um, and we offer some, I mean, all of our art, art courses can help with this, but we do have some specifically such as ceramics for wellbeing. We've got um, a new meditation drawing course um, and a few others similar to that on offer. Um, but anything creative really helps with all that kind of um, issue. We've got courses aimed at improving your employment skills as well. So lots of people might come to us if they may be thinking of starting a second career or maybe mums on maternity leave who don't want to go back to their old jobs and want to try starting a new business part time. Um, so courses such as floristry where the, the tutor will help you figure out how you might look at doing this as your own enterprise or how you get into the floristry business. And um, we've also been working with our business school and we have some new art for enterprise courses um, such as how to curate an exhibition, how to write a business plan, how to um, 
how to scale up your small business. And we also offer opportunities for our students, such as selling at our craft fairs. Um, we've got one big craft fair every December. Um, and we, we're also going to have a summer craft fair on Instagram this term. So there's lots of opportunities to get involved with that kind of thing as well once you come to us. Um, we've also got family learning and holiday courses where you can come and learn with some something creative alongside your child, which is obviously a really lovely thing to do. Um, I've got some pictures here. This um, this bear with her two cubs. This was made by a child on our Saturday Pottery for Families course. So the deal with that is that one ticket is for you, uh, one parent and one child. You can book one extra child ticket as well. Um, and so you can come with a maximum of two children. Um, we've also got this example here with um, a wolf dog. Um, so sometimes in holidays we run wildlife drawing for families and they, we've had animals such as um, miniature pigs, alpacas, donkeys, um, owls, and these were wolf dogs which are very popular so they're always great uh, days as, as well and you can come kind of in the school holidays to do something with your child. Um, We've got lots of success stories, but I've just included a couple here that you might be interested in. Um, this student here is a student called Robert. Oh, sorry, I've missed the T off there. Robert Bakama, um, and he came here to do an art foundation course a few years ago. Um, he then went on to do a university degree um, in, in an art course, um, and he now works as a professional artist using recycled and sustainable materials, but he still quite regularly comes back to the art school to do other courses to kind of top up his knowledge. Um, and he recently came back to do this picture framing course to learn how to professionally frame and sell his own art so that he didn't have to pay for that professionally to be done. It's obviously quite expensive to get picture framing done, so it's a really good skill to learn. Um, so that's a nice story. Um, this is Vicky. She came to us after leaving her job due to health reasons and um, she originally just wanted to come to do something, you know, for pleasure, find a new hobby and um, she started doing a beginner's ceramics hand building course um, and then fell in love with it. As many people do, ceramics is our most popular specialism in the art school um, and she started as a beginner progressed to intermediate and then advanced and then decided to do a more um, substantial advanced HNC course and then um, since then she's now working as a professional potter so she's had an installation here this uh, image shows uh, in a toast shop uh, she also sells her small uh, gold rimmed pinch pots in Petersham nurseries which are, if any of you are local you will um you'll know where that is and it's obviously a lovely um, lovely place in uh, Richmond um, and it stocks her pinch pots regularly so that's a lovely success story. She's now got her own kill and everything at home and makes her own work at home. Um, just to let you know that it's a great way to keep up to date with us um, and find out more and um, kind of bring to life more of what we do on our Instagram and Twitter. You can visit them, the two links are here. Um, and I'm actually going to stop this presentation for a second and take you over to our Instagram account where I can show you some of our stories and then you can get a little bit more of a flavour of, um, of what we offer there. So if I just switch this for a second. Apologies if this has stopped for everyone. Give me two seconds. Jackie, can you see this? Yes, that's working fine, Jenny. Great. Um, so everyone, this is our Instagram account. Um, and it's just a really nice way for you to follow and see more up to date things of what's going on in the art school. We share lots of student work, we share um, competitions that you can get involved in, um, new courses, uh, lots of different things coming up here. So this is all our kind of recent posts, but uh, within our stories here, I'm just going to click on some of our art studios so you can get a little 
peek inside some of our studios. So this this example is an upholstery course that we run. This we usually do this uh, as an intensive holiday course. Here we've got some uh, some jewelry making. So this is when melting the silver to make a ring. Here we've got some ceramics throwing with the tutor doing a demo. This is inside our glass uh, and sculpture studio. This is part of our, we've got a double height drawing and painting studios. This is a really huge room. We can have up to about 20, 22 students in there. Um, and it's a really lovely big light room. Some, uh, some more kids work from pottery for families. Some more learners work on the shelves. Um, this is wreath making at Christmas time. This is also in a, one of our drawing and painting studios here. Um, some printmaking here for Christmas cards. This is our textiles interior design calligraphy studio. So lots of our studios are kind of multi-purpose um, and they have different classes each day. This is our printmaking studio. We've got, it's quite small, you can't really see, but here we've got um, Big Columbian Press, which is an amazing press. Another view of our um, painting and drawing studio there. This is the graphic design studio. So there you go, that's a little flavour. So I'm just gonna go back now. Sorry if this is a bit clunky again. Back to here. And just to talk a little bit about what we're doing to make it safe for you to join, uh, we're opening up with a very small summer school starting July um, and running through August. Um, and so anything that we have been running online that can stay online, such as painting and drawing for the time being, is being kept online until autumn term, which is September. Um, and anything which has to be in the studio, such as paint, um, ceramics and glass, is being allowed to open in our summer school, but with very small numbers. So uh, in the glass studio, because it's a bit smaller, there'll be a maximum of five students allowed. In the ceramic studio, there'll be a maximum of six. Um, similarly, in other, there'll be some woodwork and a picture framing and a few other smaller summer school offers as well. Um, so we'll be continuing some courses in September, with, which will have um, kind of split learning. So the tutor will be in the studio each week and there'll be kind of a rota of students each week. So there'll be a maximum of uh, six people, say, allowed in the studio and then the rest will join online. So that's another way where we're, we're trying to allow more people to join, but, but making sure you get some time in the studio, but making sure it's safe. Um, we're doing increased cleaning and there'll be lots of new hygiene stations. Uh, the college will be managing entrances and exits to the campuses, so there'll be kind of a one way system for coming in and leaving. Um, your class will have a specific bathroom to use so that uh, there's not too much um, cross use of all the bathrooms within the college. Workstations will be spaced out um, masks will be encouraged but optional. Um, and cleaning of equipment will be explained by tutors at the start of the course that uh, learners will be expected to clean their own equipment at the end of a session um, and also technicians will be helping with that as well to manage cleaning after each course before the next class starts. Um, so questions and next steps. Um, it's really easy to enrol. Most of the courses in my area you can enrol for your, yourself online is the easiest way to do it and you can also self-declare on there if you have any um, any specific needs that might get you a discount for our community learning courses. Um, you can pay the full fee if, if you need to or apply for the fee reduction um, all online. You can phone um, this number here 020 885 907 
Um, you can get course advice if you need further advice by emailing our art administrator Joe at art at rack.ac.uk. And if there's anything specific, she can then get in touch with me and I can talk to you um, more or she can help you with that herself. Um, there are more help with fees and um, there's a range of discounts, concessions and bursaries which you can find if you visit this link here. And you can stay in touch with the college in general. The college has its own marketing accounts as well. So they also have Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at RHACC underscore college. So thank you. That's everything I had to show you today. Um, hoping to go to Jackie, who might have some questions for me now, um, but I'll be here for a couple of minutes to see if you want to ask anything. Go ahead and ask now. Hope hi, that was hi. helpful. Yeah, so this is Jackie here. Thanks, Jenny. That's great. Um, for anyone who's listening, they haven't discovered it yet. There's a large event Q&A button um, and that's where you can pop your questions in if you have any. Um, Jenny and I will just stay online for a few more minutes to see if anyone's got anything. Um, so just pop them in there and then I'll put them to Jenny. Um, we'll just wait for that for a few minutes. Thank you. I'm just going to put this slide here as a reminder if you have any questions. So it seems quite quiet, Jenny. So no, no one's actually popping any questions on there. There are quite a few people on listening. Um, but if, if no one has any questions, um, we'll wrap it up there. But this um, presentation will be available on our website. Um, and I think Jenny's already said there's always um, ways of contacting us for more information. Jenny, do you want to say anything just as a few final words? Um, I think that's it really. Just hopefully that's given you a flavour of what we offer and hopefully you'll feel a bit more confident about coming um, to us in autumn. Um, and if you haven't been to us before, please do. I'm sure you'll find something that you love and that you can, um, can grow into a new passion. So hopefully we'll see you soon.